Hello everyone, this is Suzanne Wagner and welcome to the Astrology and Numerology for January 23rd, 2018. So if you add up the whole date, you get to the number 8. And today is a day you have to decide to let go. Let go of the old way that your ego defined how you were going to navigate the present problem or situation. There is a door you must walk through. So do not turn your back on the offering of the divine as it attempts to step you out of your old self and into the new wholeness that you have been working so diligently to move towards. Yes, there is a process of grief as you look at the possibility that you might have failed in some way, but you did not. The universe puts people, situations, and circumstances in our path to help us become more full, not less than. But you have to choose to step through the door. You cannot be dragged kicking and screaming through critical doorways. You have, you have an element of free will, but ask yourself, do you want to be right or do you want to achieve your goals? No man can do it alone. We are all here to help each other. Some of us have a karmic debt that needs to be paid and perhaps the help you need is right there in front of you and that person has an agreement to help you in this very important moment. Allow the gifts that you have given others to be received in the proper moment and come back to you. So astrologically, the moon spends the day in, in the direct, assertive, and bold sign of Aries, which stimulates your desire to initiate something new. It is time to clean that slate of yours. You must learn to consistently begin again. The moon forms a square with Mercury and Pluto, and both of these celestial bodies are moving towards an alignment that will be exact tomorrow. The intensity of your thoughts are going to clash with your desire to move towards your goal in a new way, and that can make you feel divided. The Sun-Saturn semi-sextile influence is having a similar weighty effect. You might find it a little difficult to enjoy yourself without a vague feeling that you might be neglecting an older part of yourself and the old rules of responsibility that you have imposed upon your world. Take a risk. Try something different. Use the energy of Aries to your benefit. Let others help you towards your dream. Sometimes you cannot totally do it alone. So the quote for the day that I wrote was, Fear feels frozen. It traps you in a domain of the mind. That is the moment to jump, because when you are the most frightened is when you are standing in the doorway to your freedom. Just because you cannot see the door does not mean the door is not there. So, today's blog. Um, I learned a long time ago that my fear would stop me from accomplishing pretty much anything. I recognized so much fear inside that I would feel paralyzed to even attempt to move forward. I also recognized that everything I wanted was on the outside of the bubble of my fear. So I made a decision at a young age, and that decision was to move in the direction of what frightened me most, consciously, safely, and constructively. Those three little words at the end there were the keys to navigating fear in a way that did not damage me further. If I attempted things and somehow managed to hurt myself, then my fear would be forever locked in my brain as justified, and that would give me an excuse to not take risks. I believe, I believe that is why childhood and parents are so critical to the development of a person's capacity to handle new things in a confident way with minimal stress. I find that the things my parents introduced me to when I was a child, I have a natural acceptance and understanding of, therefore, no fear and minimal stress. But it was those things that I did not get to have as an experience that create a sharp intake of breath and make my heart pound in my chest and create tightness in my body. Now, no parent can give you every experience. That is impossible. So eventually you bump into an unknown place where you stop and have to figure out what to do. I learned to head straight for the things that frightened me, again, consciously, safely, and constructively. When you step into the unknown with those three attributes clearly in your mind and you stay fully present in the moment, you are somehow protected. 
The guides and angels can access your energy to give you hints and cautions if you are paying attention and listening. So don't let fear define your life. Don't let the excuse that you don't know how to do something stop you from learning and expanding into new territories. Don't let the lack of knowledge and experience make you hesitate or allow you to let your mind judge you and the unknown thing in your life that's presenting as dangerous. This world was designed to be a multi-dimensional experience and feeling. So let yourself have experiences. Let yourself learn. Let yourself try and fail. Let yourself overcome and succeed. What you will learn is that this world is a playground for those who are willing to step beyond their mental patterns. You are a limitless being having an experience of limitation. That is all. Enjoy pushing against what you think you know, because it could be really fun. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Thanks.